Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church here in Hammett. I'm very glad that you came to join us again today. I wanted to read a passage of scripture from Psalm chapter uh, 2, and it goes like this. It says, Why are the nations in an uproar, and the peoples devising a vain thing? The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us tear their fetters apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Then he will speak to them in his anger and terrify them in his fury, saying, But as for me, I have installed my king upon Zion, my holy mountain. He's talking there, God speaking about his son, Jesus Christ. And you and I know, no matter what your persuasions are, you and I know the world is in trouble today. And uh, people are, in fact, devising all kinds of vain things. Mostly they're trying to make promises they can't keep or come up with solutions that aren't going to work or trying to blame somebody else for their problems or... <laughs> You make your own list, okay? So my question is, why is there so much conflict internationally? And why is there so much conflict between individuals? You know, for example, in the Middle East, I don't have to argue with you. There's a lot of trouble in the Middle East. All the peace talks that we've ever tried end up failing because these people just don't like each other. They don't really want to get along with one another. And you could say here in the United States, things have changed in the last generation. Americans have gone from being very proud of our nation and should be um, to blaming one another, criticizing one another, even attacking one another. When folks, somebody said, united we stand, divided we fall. That's actually a biblical idea. <laughs> and so... My concern today is why is there so much trouble? It says it right here. It says, they took their counsel together against the Lord, against his anointed, that's Jesus Christ. Let us tear their fetters apart. You see, everybody wants to do what they want to do. They don't want anybody telling them there's any such thing as right or wrong or responsibility or that people's lives have value and matter. Instead, they try to pick individuals and that matter and against others, or they try to um, basically just do whatever they want to and, and go against anyone that tries to have any kind of rules or order that would establish more um, of a proper, proper relationships between people. So why do people do it? It's because they just want to do what they want. They don't want anybody telling them they can't. And the trouble with that is, if everybody just does whatever they want to and blames everybody, and nobody's willing to take responsibility, the entire culture dissolves, falls apart. We got major trouble. Um, I remember a day when people used to really care about one another. They were not only thankful for who we are and what we have as a nation, but they were careful to, to take care of one another and look out for one another. I kind of miss those days, don't you? Anyway, next time you come back, and I hope you do, I'm going to be talking to you about God's solution for this problem, and he does have an answer for it. Don't be discouraged. Look up.